Hello students. Today I am going to start a new chapter in English for class 10. The chapter is two stories about flying. It's in the book First Flight. It's chapter number three. This chapter actually it's divided into two parts. Okay. So the first part is his first flight. It's written by Lem O. Flaherty. So let us first read about the author. The author Leo Flaherty was an Irish novelist and short story writer. He became a popular, very popular literary figure with his best-selling novel that was The Informer. Okay, let us read the theme of this story. What is the basic theme actually? The theme of the story is necessity of being self-sufficient, self-reliant. And to have a self of beliefs in ourselves as well as our abilities. It clearly depicts the importance of independence, how important independence is, or what is the need of confidence in our life. How should we be very courageous? How can courage help us? And also the need for motivation. Motivation is required everywhere, okay, to achieve goals in life. So also the need of motivation to attain goals by availing the guidance from the family. Actually we get the guidance from many people, from family, from teachers, from our friends and all. And this helps us a lot. Okay. So this is what I mean to say related to the theme. Now let us start the chapter point wise. The very first point, it's all about a seagull. Okay, so young seagull afraid to fly. Now see what happens. There was a young seagull and he was all alone on his ledge. Ledge, the edge of anything, okay, can be said as ledge. His two brothers and his sister had already learned the art of flying. Okay, only who didn't know, yes, the young seagull. So they had learned the art of flying in, uh, the day before. Okay, he did try. Who? The young seagull. He did try. He had taken a little run forward and tried to flap his wings. But that was all he could do. He couldn't fly. He became afraid. He was very much afraid to fly. He felt that his wings would not support him. So he bent his head and ran away back to the little hole where he slept at night. Returned to the same place where he slept at night. His brothers and sister had wings for uh, which were far shorter than his own wings. But he failed to muster up courage and fly. Means he was not courageous enough. Okay. So his parents taunted, they scolded and threatened him to leave him starving at the ledge. Unless he flew away. But nothing could make him fly. Even the taunting and the scolding of the parents could not make him fly. The next point. Parents perfecting brothers and sister. And sister. Now, the seagull helplessly watched his parents flying with his brothers and sister. The, means the parents actually, they were perfecting them in the art of flying. They were teaching them how to skim the waves, the sea waves, and just how to dive 
for fish okay the seagulls actually the main food is fish so how to die for the fish the whole family went on taunting him for his cowardness okay the family members they started taunting him because they felt that the young seagull is a coward okay now the next point the next point is maddened by hunger he died at the fish so only his mother was looking at him whose mother the young seagull girl's mother okay so she had picked a piece of fish she was always flying across to him with that piece of fish in its mouth he leaned out eagerly leaned to come forward eagerly so that he could get that fish the mother was very near to him with the fish in in, in her beak maddened by hunger what he did he dived at the fish with a loud scream he fell outward and downwards into space while he was falling down a terror seized him his head stood still his mother swooped past him just came near to him he answered her with another scream he saw his two brothers and sister flying around him okay but could not get that courage to fly now the final point of this check of this part actually first flight now how did he take his first flight the seagull completely forgot that he was not able to fly okay he forgot that he is not able to fly uh, then he left himself free to die then to soar and curve at will his parents they were just with his brothers and sisters were beckoning him to fly he was tired and weak with hunger his feet sank sank into the green sea and his belly touched it his belly touched that green sea he sank no further he did not sink inside his family were praising him and their beaks the family members beaks were offering him scraps of fish finally what he did he had made his first flight okay